guys. I keep uh, procrastinating and <laughs> putting this off. With so many things to do. Um, I'm about to take them off and start building a two-in-one controller. One thing I did want to share is how I've been using these um, Tri-Lancer uh, straps that I picked up in the summer. These things are awesome. I'll leave a link in the description if you're um, looking for something to tie down stuff on your bike. Uh, pretty much use them on all the cables. I've had no problems with them whatsoever. Uh, I even used one here to lash the controller to the frame. It never moved. <laughs> this box here never moved. They nail super tight. So I figured I'd share that. Um, those are definitely been through their paces and they're definitely worth the money. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description. But uh, I'm going to take this all off, unwire it, and then we'll uh, pull them apart and uh, see what it's going to take to machine them to get them into the one case. Well, I forgot how much fun it was getting these things off. Um, like it made it a little bit easier because the negative and positive were all marinated together. So there's little solder points that I had to cut because I knew I'd have to do this down the road. But they're both the same controllers, so it shouldn't be an issue putting them in a different case. These are my rushless controllers. <laughs> Survived. I don't know why they call them rushless. Maybe because they're, like I said, they're worried about stepping on someone's toes with the uh, copyrights or something. No burnt smell, but yet they're both different. Go figure. Uh, nothing is standing out that there's anything wrong with it. Nothing is burnt. Looks like they survived. Cool. Yep. Looks pretty good. Um, where's that case? There it is here. Now basically we would want them this facing the same way, that way the wiring harness would come out the same end. Oops. That's going to have to come off. But We'll have to put a plate or something under there to keep it from shorting. So when we go in the bottom... And we should be able to fit this one in the top. Same thing, I would have to wrap them both to keep them from shorting. doable but it would probably have to go like that I'm thinking I'm starting to see why when um, you see these on um, on Amazon dual controllers they have wires coming out each end like that that's the reason why because hmm. then you got the caps to deal with right 
Like that's that should be all right. Get those two together. Yeah, there's more than enough room to fit. But unfortunately, the wires won't come out the same end, so we'll have to pretty much tailor it. We'll have to cut a hole on the one side and bring the wires out the ends, which I still don't have a problem with that. Cool. But we'll have to lose all this stuff here. The seal here, this plate here will have to be cut off or slipped off. I can't save that rubber. So if we do this, then there's no turning back. Cool. Well, let me get all this hardware off. It's going to be cutting and pulling and everything else, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so it will work. It's going to be a hell of a lot of wires coming out the one side. I had to remove two of the capacitors on the one board because they're obviously the capacitors were higher on the end. Um, if you bring it up or lift it up, as you can see, they line up perfectly. So that will work. And then what I'll do on this end is I will put leads on these capacitors and just uh, glue them in here like that. Or set them in there like that with foam. So they'll bounce around and solder them to the board. The fun part's going to be drilling the holes and lining up the um, spreader bars. But it is totally doable. It'd be kind of cool having all of it in one, one container, one box, and then we'll seal it up. Uh, I'll be able to use this end here for all the wires. We'll separate them, one for each controller. Um, these, At least the end will be sealed with rubber. We'll seal this up. And for the holes, I really don't have rubber for that, but I do have is, um, ties that will wrap around the wire and keep them from rubbing out on the case. But uh, you know what? I don't want to make this video too long because YouTube will hit you with a bunch of ads if you don't pay for their uh, service. So we'll leave it at that. I'll take a few pictures of that and um, we'll use it for a thumbnail. And uh, probably tomorrow. I can't really use a drill right now. It's late at night. Tomorrow we're, uh, we'll uh, break out the drill bits and uh, show you how to uh, line the spreader bars up to um, get the screws in the easy way anyway. Later, guys. I forgot to mention before I go, you're looking at it thinking, oh my god, that's going to short. These are the sheets I'm going to use. It's foam, and then it's got fiberglass. And they're the same size as the controller itself, so they'll be slid in the bottom of the case, in the bottom of the board, so it doesn't ground out. There's still a lot of room in there, so I've got lots of room to um, put them in. We're going to share that.